Yeah, good, good evening, everyone. Good afternoon. Good morning, everywhere around the world. Welcome to the Cybersecurity Masterclass 2.0. And uh, we want to start right away. We want to start right now. We, want to, uh, we really appreciate everyone who have joined today's um, webinar. And uh, we hope that you're going to um, gain a lot from um, on the few things we're going to share for the next one hour. Thank you everyone and thank you guys for joining everywhere around the world. Thank you. Like we said, the this 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 is actually focused on um, internet safety for kids and that is the topic for today's um, uh, webinar. Thank you. Thank you for joining. We really appreciate you, and uh, we want to want to. The purpose of this is to educate parents on how to keep their kids safe on the internet. Everything is going online. Everything is going to the internet. Every everyone is online now, including the kids. They are doing a um, lot of online schools. Uh, uh, online um, learning, e-learnings are going on presently. Uh, due to the pandemic, the coronavirus across the world, across the globe. And today we want to focus on how to keep our kids safe on the internet. Let's get started. Why this webinar? The purpose of this webinar is to create awareness and consciousness in parents on the need to guide their kids on internet safety. This is a continuous process. Like we mentioned in the last episode of this webinar, the, asset, the, the security is a continuous process. Security should not be a one-off event. Security should be a continuous process. As we review our processes, we also make sure that we improve on what we have to secure ourselves both online and offline. And this is very critical at this, at, at this period. This is very critical at this, uh, at this period. So now, Now, by, by introduction, by way of introduction, internet is like an ocean full of fishes, crabs, and wonderful creatures, and other dangerous animals and creatures like crocodiles. It is also full of treasures like gold. Just like the ocean, when you go to the ocean, you have a lot of things like a fish, you have the fish, you have the crabs, you have wonderful creatures, and you have dangerous animals too in the uh, like creature like crocodiles and all of that. And also we have treasures like gold, even also available on the, in the ocean. And that is the way internet is. We use internet to learn, play game, shop, and connect with friends around the world. Let's not forget there are also cyber criminals who are, are, who are waiting like crocodiles in the ocean looking for who to swallow. And that is where the internet is. And that is why it's very critical for us to take this very, very serious because there are also crocodiles in the internet world waiting to swallow children. And um, that is why we need to educate our children. Parents need to learn how to keep their kids safe in this world in this worldwide ocean called the internet, and that is the purpose of this uh, webinar. Now, why internet safety for kids? Why do we need to do this? Why do we need to keep our kids safe in the cyber world? Number one, because your kids attend online schools and tutorials. Because our kids attend online schools and tutorials. That is why it's critical to learn how to keep them safe. That is why it is, it is required of us to learn the safety part of the internet. Number two, your kids have access to PC and mobile devices. Your kids have access to PC and mobile devices. A lot of things kids can do online because they have access to, because they do online school. I'm going to show us at the end of this, um, toward the end of this, um, uh, of this webinar, I'm going to show us some, um, some, some statistics of what we have and, and of, 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 of parents and uh, of kids that have been affected by cyber bully, by activities of what, what, what children 
uh, what they do on the internet. Your kids have access to PC, they have access to mobile phones, they have access to iPad, they have access to tablets. Number three, your kids think faster and imagine things. Your kids are faster than thinking. So um, some, of, some of us parents will put our mind on so many issues that distract us. But some of these kids, they have their mind, their mind are fatter, their mind is, they, they can think faster than us. Now I want to give just like an example. Somebody was telling me of, a par of, of what happened to a, a parent during this, uh, uh, this uh, lockdown of this uh, coronavirus, during the lockdown, I think uh, between um, uh, um, March and, uh, and May. And what happened was this man, Usually in their office, they give them credits, uh, maybe as in they use a postpaid line in which they give um, a credit of over 200,000 Naira in Nigerian Naira to, 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 to each staff every month. And um, this, this, uh, the, one of this, uh, one of the, this staff, the child usually will sh check the balance. Of, of credit balance on the dad's phone. And what he does is that he will quickly, he will convert them, convert part of it into data and transfer the data into his own phone. And usually in that office, they have every staff as a credit limit of what they can spend every month. And uh, if you exceed that limit, they are going to send an, an invoice for you to pay back. And every month this man, always get um, a, 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 a credit note that he has uh, overshoot and he has uh, spent beyond, uh, beyond the, the, the allowed um, credit for the month. And uh, he, he actually shared this with one of his colleagues and the colleague said, oh, you need to check your house. You need to check what your kids are doing with your phone. And uh, after making some investigations, some inquiry among the kids, his son, his son, his first son, what he does is that he goes to it, to the Chris phone, converts part of those cre uh, credits on the DAX phone into data and transfer it to his own phone. And the dad said, why do you do that? He said, he thought that everything is free. So that is how, how kids think. So the kids, they think faster, they think faster than parents. Your kids spend more time on the internet than you do. Your kids spend more time on the internet, if they have access to it, uh, a parent was sharing with me some times ago that he, this parent has an iPad, and uh, the children sometimes they play with the iPad even in her absence, and he, just, he find out that okay, how do they get access? Because she has changed the password, but this iPad also allows the parent uh, uh, the, the, the parent as register this this mother as register a fingerprint on the ipad so whenever she is sleeping the children are awake in the night as well in the night they they quickly they just uh, quietly go to the mother's room and put a finger on the ipad to open the ipad once they do that they quietly leave the room and begin to play with the, on the on, uh, with the iPad. So it took time for the for this mother to to realize that that is exactly what is going on. So in the internet world, you, your kids as um, they think faster than you. They spend more time on the internet than you, and the kids also they learn faster. They learn faster. They learn faster than with parents because parents ask their mind on so many issues that bothers them on day-to-day -day activities, your business, your work, and all of that. And um, they think faster. Then your kids learn faster. Your kids are friends both online and offline. They connect with their friends online, even in your absence without you knowing it. Then your kids are born in the jet age. Your kids are born in the jet, in jet age. The children of these days, they think faster because of the time in which they are born. Uh, I read something sometimes ago on Punch about um, Punch newspaper, it's a Nigerian newspaper, that um, of what happened to a parent, they discover that they their children, uh, they, they have two kids, a boy and a girl, and one day the mother discover, find out that the, the 
they, 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 they wash a lot, they have been exposed uh, to a lot of uh, uh, pawns online. And they begin to imagine, ah, no, we have more run in this house. How did this happen? How did this happen to our children? Not knowing the issue started whenever the parents are busy somewhere, they, the mother usually give the, uh, a mobile phone to, to the children to go and play with. And from there, they enter YouTube and that is all. The rest is story. Now, the rest is story. Then the starting point, where do we start from? Where do we start from as parents? How do you secure your children from in the internet world? The starting point is enable parental control. Enable parental control for everything you have. And that is our focus for this webinar. We are going to, I'm going to show you how to enable parental control on some of the devices you have at home so that you can secure your children because the internet is open. It's like I said in the, in the introduction, it's an ocean full of opportunities and dangerous, dangerous thing. The first thing on your, on your computer, create child account. The details, I'm going to show you the details in the next, uh, in the, in the next slides. Then on your mobile phone, if you are going to be sharing your computer with your kids, make sure you have a child account. If you are going to um, share your mobile devices, your phone, your iPad, your tablet, all of that with your kid, also you have to create child account and password your devices. Put a screen passcode, put a, add a screen passcode to your mobile devices. Don't leave them and say, oh, I'm, I, I, I don't want, troubles of entering passcode, screen password all the time, enable screen password on your mobile devices. Also, if you are on cable TV, enable parental control. Enable parental control. There was a case of a, of a, of a, of a house help that was engaged some times ago, and um, it dis uh, they discovered that this house help has been exposed to so many, so many things like um, pawns and all of that. And um, when um, a query was made, it was, she said that whenever the mother, the, 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 the woman, the woman is a, is, a busy, is a busy mother and she's a nurse. So sometimes she goes for night duty and all of that. And uh, whenever she's not around, the children, our children uh, watch a lot of pawns on the, on the cable TV and all of that. And from there, and they also, even buy some of these CDs and wash. And from there, she was exposed to this kind of, uh, of, of thing. So you have to protect your cable TV, enable parental control. If you are in Nigeria, for folks who are in Nigeria, on your DSTV, you can easily do that and enable uh, parental control. For Netflix, restrict your, your keys to kids profile. Kids profile on Netflix has been made in such a way that only, it is only um, uh, kids related activities that are available on the kids profile. And you can also go to, into your system, into, into the online and then into your laptops. And, and also if you have older kids, who can go into the adult profile on Netflix. You can also go to your system, go to your account setting on Netflix and um, from there, you can password the adult profile so that you restrict your children from watching adult um, adult movies and all of that. So enable parental control. That is this is where it should start for every parent. Then, if also on the online game, if your children play online game, you have to also enable parental control to monitor what they do in your absence. Microsoft. Windows and Apple, all of this allow you to add parental control to users' account. This includes time limits, web restrictions, and control which application can be open. So when you, if you use either Microsoft Windows or you, are, you use um, uh, Apple Mac OS, that is um, Apple uh, Apple computer laptop. The, all these applications allow you to have a parent control, have user account for your kids, and have control of what they do and the site they visit and also monitor it. You can also buy parental control 
uh, software. There is a software that is called NetNally. Net NetNally uh, uh, has, uh, has a version for both Windows and Mac. And you can get this software and install it on your system. So if you install this software on your system, it gives you as a parent to control what your kids, uh, what they do on the internet. Now, I want to just take us through the process of uh, enable parental control for on, 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 on MacBook as a parent. So I will start with, uh, we'll start with Windows. Sorry, we want to start with Windows, Windows 10. Windows 10 by default, most computers nowadays run on Windows 10. So I expect that your computers at home are running on Windows 10. So Windows 10 by default op offer option for families and parents to ensure children are protected when they are online. So Microsoft give option for you to create a parental control on your Windows 10 laptop. And to turn this on, on a parental control for your child, you go to window, go to search bar and type family options. So when you click on family option, click on option under setting, then create an account for your child and enable parental control. So once parental control are enabled, two fixtures are turned on by default. First, internet browsing on Microsoft Edge browser become street, ensuring that no adult content will be displayed in any of the search results. So when you enable parental control and you create account, a child account for your child on Windows 10, the Microsoft by default, the internet browser, which is Microsoft Edge and Internet Explorer, ensure that no adult content is displayed even when your child go to internet to search for anything, any adult content is going to be restricted. Secondly, in private browsing is blocked. Disabling, disabling um, anything that is asked at this adult content is disabled. So you will need to create, for, for you to achieve this on Microsoft uh, uh, Windows 10, you have to go to Microsoft's web, website and create a Microsoft account. And you can also create that for your, for your, for, for your keys for maybe each of them or one account for all of them. You can do all of that. And uh, you can get that, you can go to live.com and create uh, that. Live.com is a Microsoft uh, online uh, where you can create a Microsoft account. And uh, whether you create account as, uh, as uh, at your name at outlook.com or at your name at altmate.com, all the two belongs to Microsoft. Also, Parental control for MacBook for parents that use uh, that are using a uh, Apple 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 laptop or Apple computer at home. In Mac OS, Apple include the ability to manage various levels of restriction for individual user account. So to achieve this, you go to click on the Apple symbol on the top left corner of your Mac screen and select System Preference. Then number two, you select um, uh, parent, parental control preferences, uh, preferences, and also you click the lock in the lower left corner of the screen. Then enter your admin password if you are prompted and click unlock. Then number five, you're going to select the user account that you want to, rest to set restriction for from the column on the left. You will then be able to control apps, browser, Stores, time, privacy, Siri, access to printer and scanner and dictation. So all of this will be, will be able to control. And before I go ahead, if you have any question, drop it in the chat box. I will pick it up there when it is time for question and answer. Thank you, everyone. Now, enable parental control on Android phone. For those who are using Android devices, Android tablets, Android, um, Android base, uh, phones. On the device you want to have parental control on, open Play Store app, that is Google Play. Then in the top corner, top menu, go to menu. From menu, you go to settings. From settings, you go to parental control. Then turn on parental control. Then next thing you do, it will prompt you to create a pin. This is for parents who want to share 
their mobile devices with their kids, whether it's for online school or for online tutorial, or to be able to ensure that they have access. Maybe that is the only device they have at home and they want to create. So you create a pin. This prevents people who, do, who, do, who, who don't know the pin from changing your parental control. So uh, Google will give you a prompt to create a pin. If you are setting up for parental control on your child device, choose a pin that they don't know. So make sure you put a pin that your, your children don't know as your parental control pin. Then tap the type of the content you want. So here you are going to select the the, the, the apps you want to restrict them to, you are going to select the one you want to hide from them, choose out of filter, then you will receive access. You are going to do all of that, receive access, access from them. Once you set parental control, you can turn them on and off anytime. When you turn them back on and create a new pin, your old setting will, be, will come back. This helps you to share your device with people who don't need parental control. So that is this is for, uh, for parents who, um, who are using Android devices. So next thing is uh, enable parental control on iPhone, iPad, for those for parents who are using iPad, um, uh, Apple, uh, Apple devices. Number one is from the home screen, you tap on setting. Then number two, tap on screen time. Then tap on screen, tap on, screen time, turn on screen time, turn on the screen time, then tap content and privacy restrictions. Then number five, enter a four digit passcode. Then if you, it will prompt you again to re-enter the passcode. Now you can choose what type of content to block, including in-app purchase, adult website, location, sharing, and a lot of, a lot of that. Thank you. Yeah. Other measures that we can put in place as parents to, to, to keep your kids safe on the internet. Number one is create strong password and update them as, a, as, a, as, a, as parents. If you are going to share your devices with your kids at home, you have to create strong password, update them regularly. Number two, ensure you install antivirus antivirus software on your kid's computer. And some, even some antivirus can also help you in, monitor, in, in monitoring what your kids, uh, what, 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 what your, uh, your children are doing on, on the internet. They can give you the browsing history, the site they visit, and all of that. So you, should have, you, you also make sure that you, your kids use a kid-friendly search engine. Google is a pool for everybody. If your kids use google.com as a search engine or yahoo.com as search engine, this is the content is a miss for both adults and children. So, but you can help your kids by using kidtopia.info and kidrest.org. So I'm going to put all of this chat, all, 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 I'm going to put all of this, uh, this um, website for kids, I'm going to put them on the description by the time I upload this uh, webinar on YouTube, so that parents can always go. I'm going to I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to also share this with all the participants and those who are unable to, to to make it. And that is why we mentioned earlier that the webinar is going to be recorded. I'm going to upload it on our YouTube channel. You can uh, subscribe. You can uh, like the video and share with your friends and family. So. We're going to, I'm going to put all of this in the, uh, all these uh, uh, links, URL, all the details in the description of the, uh, 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 description uh, of the video when we upload them on YouTube. Number, number, number four is that uh, keep the computer in the living room or in another common area. Don't allow your kids, under mayor you can put, don't allow your kids to always stay inside their room to operate their laptops or their mobile devices. Somebody was telling me of what happened, uh, a parent was sharing with me what happened during this uh, period of, uh, of, of, of uh, lockdown where children have to uh, do a lot of online classes. And one of, of, of these um, of his kids usually stayed in one corner of the house. 
and he will make sure that the computer is facing him, the laptop is facing him alone. And he discovered that this guy do a lot of things, visit other sites while he's studying in, uh, in the online school. So it was the sister, the doctor that got to know, and this is what this uh, boy usually do. So what, they, what, they, uh, what they, 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 the parent did was, they asked him to, to make sure that his laptop always faced the rest of the, of the guys in the house so that they can monitor what this child is doing. Keep the computer in the living room or in another common area so that everyone will know what your child, and once in a while as parents, you can move around and see what they do. Review once in a while. Go to your kid's laptop, go to your, your mobile devices, try to audit what they do on their devices. So to reduce all the stress, sometimes except your kids need internet for online school or for, for, for online training, ensure you disable internet on the devices. If you don't want to go through all the stress of creating accounts for them, which I will not advise, what I will always advise is that ensure you create a child account on your children laptop or desktop at home. But for mobile tablets and um, iPad, iPhone, you can disable internet. You can restrict them to the app that you have already downloaded, which are kids related app for their education and their development. Then when you do that, you download it, you disable the, the tab or the device from the internet so that they don't have access to the internet even when they play with those uh, devices. So you can do all of that, even for game. For game, you ensure that the, the game console is not connected to the, to the internet. So with this, you can easily control what the kids are, are doing on, the, on, their, on their devices. Now, I just share with this, this slide is about parental responsibility. What do, what do parents need to do to ensure the safety of their kids on the internet? Number one is first educate yourself, then your children. As parents, you need to know what is happening, what is going on in the, in the internet world. You need to get updated. You need to be inquisitive. You need to learn about cyber security in order to save your kids. Just like the normal physical security that as parents, you do a lot. You build your house, you put burglary, you do a lot, you put fence, you put um, electric, uh, electric fence and all of that. So as parents, you have to first educate yourself, then you can educate your kids. Then number two, tell them about information security. Let them know if they ask you a question, tell them about information security. From, the, from their childhood age as kids. Make sure you tell them about information security. Tell them about social media and safety. As parents, you need to tell your children, your kids about social media and safety. You know, most social media, uh, 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 most, most of the social media like Facebook, like Twitter, like um, Instagram, the registration permitted age is age 13. And you know that some of these kids, even at age 13, can still not control what they do on the internet. So from age 13, they allow anyone with, uh, with that is, that is, uh, that is uh, as, uh, from 13 and above to open Facebook account, Twitter account, and all of that. Uh, my and my wife were watching one movie, and I recommend for every parent to watch that movie on Netflix. The movie is Alt Girl Wanted. If you go to your Netflix, you're going to see the movie Alt Girl Wanted. You're going to see how people, how girls, young girls, young girls are being recruited on Twitter for prostitution. How they are being recruited on Twitter to, for, to, to do for prostitution for, in the name of, oh, want to use you for model, just come around. And without their parents knowing what is happening, they get into, they use them for all manners, for pawns and all of that. So social media 
tell your children about social media, tell them about Twitter, what Twitter is all about, the safety, encourage open talk, and allow your child whatever they ask you, try to explain. One day my, my daughter asked me, what is Google? Daddy, what is Google? What, 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 is, what does it mean to Google? So I got, I, I, what I did, I, I have to tell them, okay, this is Google. I, have to, I, go, I went to Google, show them, and, tell, and explain to them, this, these are dangers or in Google. If you go to google.com, don't do this, don't do that. Teach them about internet use. You need to, you need to teach them about internet use. Don't only wait until they get to school or until you send them to one coding class, then you can now, they can now teach them. If you don't, the, some parents, I told one of my, my friends that what you know as parents, you can impart it as in, is not an, the guy, if my friend is not an IT person, but I said, even with your IT knowledge, what you, you use as well in your office, you use Microsoft Word, you use PowerPoint, all of that, you can start to teach your kids. Don't stay, oh, when they grow to the, a certain age, I'm going to take them to one computer school. Teach them internet use from your house. Create an online rules and standard as parent. Create an online rules and standard as parent. Don't be a yes parent. Oh, I want to use my tab. Go and use it. My three year, uh, one, of my, one, of my, one of my three year was um, a boy told me when the boy was three years old, he said, Daddy, don't always say yes. That was the boy told me. He said, don't always say yes. And the reason is because, oh, whenever it comes around and I'm busy, and what I want this, we go and take it. He said, why do you always say yes? Don't always say yes for everything. Three years old. So don't be a yes parent. Don't, and also, don't stop learning as parents. As parents, we need to, learning is continuous. We need to learn about cybersecurity. And actually, the, the essence of this cyber, of this webinar is to introduce us, to open our mind to what is happening on the internet. Then, number nine, finally, tell them about cyberbully, cyber harassment. A lot, of, a lot of things are going on on the internet, kids are being bullied and being harassed on the internet. And also, uh, uh, I want to share this. Uh, these are online resources as parents that you can, you can use. I'm, go, I'm also going to show us some also. Netsmart.org is a site that we can, we can get a lot of materials from. Then stopbullying.org, this site was created by people at uh, wiresafety.org and ask information geared towards children age from seven to 17. Then cyberbully411.org, this site has resources for kids and things, including strategies for taking to parents about cyberbullying, talking to parents about cyberbullying. Also, we have, uh, like I told us, search engines that are available for kids. Kistopia.info is a good search engine for, for, for kids. Our parents can do their kids too. Then we have um, alarms.org.kidress. Alarms it's a search engine also that is developed for kids. Instead of them using Google or yahoo.com and all of, uh, all of that. Also, NetNanny. NetNanny is a software I told us in the, at the beginning of this webinar that we can also use. Um, you can buy it if you, if you can afford it. Why not? Install it on your kid's laptop. It's going to do you a lot of favor, a lot of help. Then kidsed.org slash en, that is English version, slash parents, slash cyberbullying also is good. And also Family Online Safety Institute, which is fossi.org, is also a good uh, website that we can learn a lot about um, internet safety for kids. Now, I, want, I just want to show us so if, as we round up, some few, um, I got this from uh, safe, safe at, at last .co. It's a website for, for internet safety for kids also. A lot of materials is there, uh, uh, it's on the website that we can share with our kids. Useful statistics, I call this useful. Top child safety statistics to take away as we round up this uh, webinar. 70% of kids encounter sexual and violent content online while doing their own work research. That is why I recommend that as parents, 
google.com as search engine, yahoo.com as search engine, and a lot of adult um, search engine are not that safe. So research shows that 70% of kids encounter sensual content and violent content online while they are searching, doing their homework research. They are not actually going there to say, oh, I want to go and browse adult content or sensual content or violent content. But in the press of, just like adults, sometimes when you go to, the, to YouTube, you type something, they, a lot of other things pop up for you to, 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 to do. And you know, human mind is, uh, can, can click on anything. And 17% uh, of twins, of children between age eight to 12, receive an online message with photos or words that made them feel uncomfortable. Only 7% of parents were aware of this. So research shows that only 7% of parents are aware of this out of the 17%. Then 65% of age eight to 14 year olds have been involved in cyber bullying incident. This research, this, um, Statistics was released uh, 2009. So, and imagine what has happened between January to date during this uh, lockdown. A lot of children have moved, have, have gone to the internet. 36% of girls and 31% of boys have been booed online. 16% of high school students have been considered suicide, have considered suicide because of cyberbullying. That was, was a report, some, I watched a documentary, uh, um, I think on CNN sometimes ago, of, of, a, of a girl that commit, uh, committed suicide because she was bullied on the internet because of cyberbullying. And 75% um, of children will share personal information online in exchange for goods and services. That is why I recommend that parents if you have Netflix in your house, ensure you watch that movie, Alt Guess Wanted. You're going to learn a lot from it as parents, and you're going to, it's, going, it's very emotional at the end, but it's good for parents to watch. Then we have 77% half of parents have rules about using internet. Internet. 73% speak with their children about internet safety, so the rest don't talk about it. Then it was also, we find out that 34% check online usage or web history without the knowledge of their children. Like I recommend, net nanny actually help you to, um, to do proper audit of where your children decide to visit and all of that. So, but it was it's discovered that 34% of children uh, of parents rather do all this at the fair at four percent of parents do check on their on what their kids uh, uh, do on their kids do on the internet 25 percent secretly check their children's social media a lot of parents don't know what the children are doing on the internet now finally what kids do on do online what do children do on the internet. Number one, they play games. So it was discovered that 80, 83% of kids that goes to the internet goes there to play game. And in, that is very, if you give your children, if you give your kids your phone, the first thing they do is that they go to game and start playing game. And 73% of them solve the internet. Then 71% do school work. Then 67% talk to friends, they chat with friends on Facebook, Yahoo chat, um, WhatsApp, on, on, on Twitter, Instagram, and all of that. So these are statistics that are very, uh, that you can find on the internet. Uh, as we round up, like I said, we can, you can actually um, drop your, you can drop your, your question on the chat, and uh, you can drop your you can drop your question uh, your question on the chat as we uh, as we as we gradually round up. And um, I'm good. I want to show us some 
few um, online resources like I shared uh, earlier um, with us and um, just to show us some few uh, resources. Yes, like something like this, like I was telling them about cyber bullying and internet safety. This is safeatlas.co and that is where I got some of those statistics I was showing us and um, how to keep keep safe online. I'm going to drop all of these uh, resources and the online and the online resources, like I said, in the description of the video. By the time we share this on YouTube, I'm going to share the link with everyone that registered, including those of us who are attending and those who are unable to to make it to this uh, webinar. So these are these are the resources online safety basics you can get all these materials are uh, also available you can check them out as parents also we have uh, like i told us in the um we have family online safety institute this is family online uh, uh, online institute good digital parenting while staying at home a lot of materials are available for parent online safety in the age of artificial intelligence, parenting innocence in a digital age, keeping our very youngest safe online. These are uh, some of the posts that uh, are available. We can check them out uh, on the internet. Getting tech ready, a back to school premiere for for parents. You can check all of this out, and you can go to this site. I'm going to drop the link once. Um, by the time we upload this, and we can check all of this out and get ourselves, like I said, as parents, you need to educate yourself before you can educate your children. You need to educate yourself before you can educate your kids. This is very, very important. So as parents, you need to let you need to know what you are going to share with your with your kids. You need to learn it. So it's very, very important. And that is the reason why the reason for this webinar to actually create that consciousness on us as parents to be able to understand um, what we want to learn. So uh, I have some few questions here. Can one password parental view on Netflix? Yes, because kids mode and adult mode are side by side on Netflix, yes and uh, the kids can easily click on the adult uh, profile yes so password your netflix adult account on um, for your tv you can't do it on tv you have to do it on your computer you can't do that on like uh, dstv or this cable tv that you can do on the tv but for the for the net for netflix account you have to password the profile you go to netflix from Netflix, you have to go to settings, uh, click on the account that you want to add password to. Then on the profile, you can put a password to password that profile. So anytime they, anybody uh, click on that profile, they will they have to they, they have to enter the password before they, they, they view the content of the adult uh, one and make sure. Password is only secret if, it's, if if you keep it to yourself. Moment you expose it to the kids, they also can also do the same thing. So you need to keep your password for parental control. You have to keep your PIN and the password. You have to keep it uh, uh, safe and secure and to yourself. Thank you. Oh, thanks for the. Oh, thank you very much for the feedback. We really appreciate everyone who who are, uh, who are able to to attend. We, we thank you for attending this. We are going to share this, like I said, on our um, YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, and also you can also share with friends. I appreciate your time. I appreciate everyone that is our, uh, everyone that uh, attend this webinar. And the next one, we are going to also inform inform you and the topic we are going to share. Like I said. We are going to, I'm going to also, for everyone that register, I'm going to share the, all the resources, online resources 
I'm going to put all the uh, URL details in the email, that, in the thank you email we are going to uh, send to everyone that register for this webinar. So just watch out, watch out for your for email from Ojo Educate and uh, you can go to all these uh, sites and get yourself educated so that you can also educate your kids. Uh, I really appreciate everyone for coming, for attending this. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We appreciate you for being part of this. And we look forward to also see you in our next edition of, uh, of uh, Cybersecurity Masterclass. Yeah, we're going, we want to be sharing a lot of, a lot of um, resources, educate uh, uh, everyone how to keep safe, how to be safe on the internet. Thank you and God bless you and see you in the next edition. Bye.